This is Sedum Autumn Joy, also known as Hylotelephium Autumn Joy. And this is probably one of the more popular sedums I've ever seen. Um, it's a great size, especially for residential design, although um, you're seeing this in a public garden in Vancouver, British Columbia. This is August, uh, mid-August in 2012. And um, you're seeing it just pre-bloom. It's heavily budded up. These are the buds. You see the uh, interesting serrated foliage there that's kind of succulent. Stems are fleshy and succulent and kind of a lighter green color. And uh, then you're going to see in a different part of the garden where they're starting to color up and starting to open up and flower. Um, so this gives you a good sense of when these bloom. They're really a late summer bloomer. There, there lies the name, Autumn Joy. So uh, end of August and September is when they're going to do, typically in North America, I would say, when they're going to do their heaviest flush of color. And then um, the blooms turn more of an ambery tone, ambery pink tone, uh, once the stronger pink is done. What I'm, you're looking at here is, I, this is one of my, the downsides in design to this plant, is their own weight opens them up. You saw how compact they were in the earlier photos, but uh, they can open up like you see here. I've seen some people kind of tie them with string or something like that to tighten them up or keep them tight as they age through the summer. But that is one of the challenges with this plant, um, is that the the weight of the flower heads can open them up. But as you see here, they're nice and compact. They're a nice size and have a nice sense of order in the garden. You see them combined with Echinacea and Catmint or Nepeta here um, in this plant design. So these are really kind of a classic perennial play. They are dormant in the winter. So what you're doing is uh, in design is you're using them as a uh, seasonal play on structure and color. And uh, as soon as it's warm, they start to, uh, so in the winter, these are cut back to the ground. Then the plant will come back up and uh, you'll get this nice foliage and kind of compact growth. The size on these is one to two feet tall and wide. I would tell you that most of the ones you're looking at here are kind of the 16 to 18 inch high range and probably the same width. So that's, uh, I, I would be planting these 16 to 18 inches on center uh, in a garden design myself. And then um, in terms of maintenance, quite simple. When they're done in the, uh, at the end of fall or early winter when the frost starts to burn them, cut them to the ground and uh, mulch the bed. And uh, then you've got a bare spot in that space for the winter. Um, water, these like regular garden water uh, to do their best. I wouldn't call them drought tolerant by any stretch. Deer resistance, I do not know on that one. So you're going to have to source that idea from somewhere else. I believe sedums are not very uh, popular with deer, but I don't want to tell you wrong. So I'm going to pass on that part of the equation. Here you see the nice bright pink color, and that's what the whole plant's going to turn into shortly with the ones you're looking at. So um, diseases, I've never seen diseases on this, a disease or pest problem with this, pro, uh, this plant. I'm not familiar with any. These are in Vancouver, as I mentioned. I've grown these in my own garden for a few years here in Northern California, and uh, I never really had a problem. I think I had a little bit of a snail issue, but I don't think they were consuming the plant as much as they were just kind of hanging out in there. So um, I don't think that's a big issue with um, sedum autumn joy. Um, if you know otherwise, uh, well then treat accordingly and ask any garden center in your area about that. So that is sedum autumn joy, a lovely perennial, very strong display and a great character in the garden. And I, I that size is a really good one, that uh, 16 inches to two foot tall and wide is really handy in a perennial border. So um, love this plant, love the texture and color, and plays nicely with blues and whites and the cooler tones in the garden in a design. 
According to Western Garden Book, these are hardy down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so uh, you can use these in a large range of areas geographically. And that is Sedum Autumn Joy. Uh, here to follow are a few companion plants that we recommend looking at when uh, considering this plant. Enjoy.